day folks photo Bob here hey um, I got two stumps here sitting under my wood pile that in the past I would leave gaps in my pallets and then use stringers to kind of um, stack over the gaps so before I go ahead and put down my pallets for this year well, actually the wood is not for this year but it's for the following year but before I put them down down I'm going to uh, remove these two stumps fill it in with some limestone and then I'll continue with my wood splitting for uh, 2022 and 2023 so now what I'm going to do is use a combination of wedges and sledges and bust these out. Let's see how it goes. One chunk. Um, camera overheated again 78 degrees no wind the camera can't cool itself so I apologize it is what it is so I continued to use my uh, small sledge hammers and wedges and um, I got a uh, splitting maul there that I uh, used the back side of it to drive the wedges uh, eventually some of the uh, some of the sections wouldn't bust out, so I had to use the chainsaw to cut them off. So what I did, I uh, have this small pickaxe. Um, I picked it up on Amazon. It's a Japanese pickaxe and uh, really good for working down low, small areas when you're not trying to, you know, dig a hole you just want to clean around something this is a great tool this is approximately where the first one was and what I did is I already covered up what the remnants of it um, there's a lot of uh, woody material still down in there <coughs> it got sawdust down my throat but um, It'll just rot away, and as it rots away, I'll fill it in with uh, crushed stone. Over here is the smallest of the stumps, and I wasn't able to bust any of that out So, with the cuts that were there. So I just went ahead and cut it off with the chainsaw, and now I'm going to backfill it. Any of the big chunky organic material I try to pick it out
The stumps I took out of here today were ash. I removed three of them total. You didn't see the one. I did it a couple weeks ago. And uh, that was the biggest one. And today I removed about a six to eight inch stump. And then over here, over here, I removed a 12 to 14, maybe 15 inch stump. Pretty big. So we work with what we got. I have a little bit of gap there. I'll just use a little stringers, place the wood sideways and then stack on top of it. It'll work fine. I had built these things to fit into the gaps before because of one, I didn't have enough pallets and two, I had to fill in the gap. Well, the pallets would not sit squarely over the stumps. The stumps would make them rock. So this was my temporary solution. Make a two by four frame and then stack my wood on that. Let's wrap this video up. Get on out of here. Yeah, you professionals out there, you know what to do. Smash that like button, share this video with a friend and comment down below. And I just wanna say thank you for all the people who take the time to watch my videos. It's very much appreciated. And with that said, let's call this a wrap. Till next time, cheers.